In order to group objects together, select all of the objects and then select the group icon, which is located here. The shortcut for this is Control and G. This will then make all of the items a group and they will all become a purple color. You can then select one object and it will select all of them. In order to ungroup, hover over the icon. Certain icons will have a small triangle on the bottom right hand side. This denotes that there is a flyout menu. The group and ungroup icons are located in one of those. If I left click on the group icon I just selected and hold the mouse button down, it will display a flyout menu. Ungroup is located here and the shortcut for that is Control and U. Another way to ungroup is to right click on the object. Although doing this, you will see that there are actually two different options to ungroup. The ungroup vectors is the one that has the icon, but there is also another one, which is called ungroup all. Now this is really useful when creating text, for instance, because if you have created any text, it is grouped twice because of the islands inside individual letters. Here you can see that I have ungrouped the letters, but each individual letter is still grouped. So I would need to ungroup each individual letter. The ungroup all does exactly that. It ungroups everything. So each vector is individual. When machining, you will most likely need to join vectors together so you can machine a continuous line. Here you can see what looks like a rectangle, but is in fact two separate lines. This is really easy to spot by just selecting for this example. We can see that the pink selected line is not a rectangle. We should also note the start and end point of the vector as this helps when it is harder to spot that lines are not joined. The start point is green and the end point is red. To join these two vectors together, select one vector and then press and hold shift on the keyboard and select the other vector. This selects both of the vectors together. Select the vector drop down menu and then select to join with coincident nodes. This will open a small dialog and select join. When I select the right rectangle, we can see that something is not right here because we can see an end point in red. Normally, you would just see a green point for the start point. So if I zoom in on this area, you can see that there is a piece missing from the end. This can be fixed really easily by selecting the vector drop down again, select close, and choose the option that best suits this example, close with a line. And it will create a line in the gap and join the whole rectangle.